Welcome to this overview of Microsoft's Cloud Solution Provider program for our U.S. partners. My name is Belen Tamayo and I'm a Partner Channel Marketing Manager in MSUS OCP Go-To-Market Organization. Before you get started with CSP, it is important to understand Microsoft's newcomer's journey. I have created a separate video which I kindly encourage you to watch prior to the CSP recording. Microsoft's Cloud Solution Provider is the fastest growing program in our partner network, supported by investments in a flexible partner-centered platform and a licensing model that enables partners to deliver managed and bundled services for our mutual customers in the most effective way. Key benefits include access to a powerful ecosystem designed to create opportunities for partners to innovate, add value to their offerings, and connect with Microsoft, customers, and each other. And match technology portfolio in one program. Partners in the CSP program utilize in-product tools to directly provision, manage, and support their customer subscriptions. Partners can easily package their own tools, products, and services, and combine them into one monthly or annual customer bill. CSP partners own the end-to-end -end customer engagement and directly provision, build, and support Microsoft Cloud services for their customers. The CSP program will continuously evolve to help partners accelerate delivering value-added services for customers' digital transformation and stay competitive in the future marketplace. Within the CSP program, partners can choose between two business models. One, indirect resellers who are affiliated with indirect providers and two direct providers. Let's talk about the indirect model. In the indirect model, providers purchase Microsoft products and subscriptions directly from Microsoft, but sell to customers through a network of indirect resellers. The prerequisites for enrolling in CSP as an indirect reseller include an active Microsoft Partner Network and PNID for the location you want to sell in, the ability to sign legal agreements on behalf of your organization, a relationship with an official Microsoft provider. As a CSP reseller, you have the fastest time to market. You leverage the indirect provider significant investments in platform, billing and provisioning systems, marketplace, and other resources and you access the provider's credit, training, and sales support programs. The direct CSP model. As a CSP direct provider, you are required to invest in billing, provisioning systems, and first level support, among others. These investments can be significant, depending on the partner's existing business model. In the direct build model, partners purchase Microsoft products and subscriptions directly from Microsoft and sell them directly to their customers through their in-house sales staff. Partners who already operate with or are willing to develop the appropriate sales, billing, and support infrastructure may choose the CSP Direct model. The requirements to become a direct partner will continue evolving together with the program itself. As you can see, CSP Indirect, indirect resellers break even four times faster. And this is why it's so important to choose the right model for your specific business. Let me reinforce what indirect providers offer in terms of reseller services. Partners that want to closely manage their expenses can leverage the capacity offered by an indirect provider without having to make a substantial investment in capital to build infrastructure or services capacity, therefore ramping quickly into sales. Partners may want also to test their cloud solutions before making a major commitment and this model allows exactly to evolve with agility. Indirect providers core services elements are support and billing, business services and guidance, providing flexible terms, and leaving to the last point, indirect providers provide a commerce portal for indirect reseller transaction. Some IPs even enable resellers to put a skin over their commerce portal so partners can take customers orders seven by 24 with minimal technical investment. Before moving into what is new in fiscal year 21, let me recap on the 
Cloud Solution Provider Program, Evolution for Digital Transformation. 2015 is when Microsoft launched the CSP program as the first partner-centric sales motion that enables partners to deliver solutions to customers that range from managed services to bundled solution compromising the first and third party IP. As you can see, we have done a significant amount of work taking us to fiscal year 20 introduction of Azure newcomers through the Azure plan offer. Coming in FY21, we are expanding the CSP offer portfolio, adding Microsoft Perpetual software for partners to cater to a broader set of customer needs, expanding business opportunities. A key step in the evolution of the CSP program for digital transformation was the launch of Azure Newcomers Experience in the program back in November 2019. Whether it is through a simplified dynamic agreement, immediate provisioning, or enhanced management capabilities, the new Azure Experience in CSP adds the value of a partner managed solution with the opportunity for additional services. Summarizing these slides are the four key areas of investments behind the new Azure experience in CSP. From alignment of offers and consistent pricing, to transition and management tools, and a new approach to recognizing and rewarding partners influencing consumptions through managed services. It is important to mention our commitment of keeping the current CSP offer available alongside the new offer to help partners transition over a period of time. The original Azure offer in CSP will be deprecated, but it will be on a phased approach starting in calendar year 2021. As more details become available, partners will be notified of all planned changes at least with six months in advance. Moving into fiscal year 21, the inclusion of perpetual software in CSP supports an additional scenario an opportunity for partners participating in the CSP program to reach a broader and potentially new group of customers, those exclusively still deploying on-premises or using a mix of on-prem and cloud, ultimately paving the way for customers move to the cloud. When software licenses will be broadly available in CSP, all partners will be able to provide a simplified experience for customers who need licenses and managed services to provide their hybrid environments and who want to transact with a single partner. Customers with on-premises deployments can add cloud services with the help of a partner. Partners can facilitate the procurement leveraging Partner Center, while customers will continue to manage their license key access, activation and product media download fulfillment of licenses products through Microsoft 365 Admin Center. As you can see, uh, coming in FY21, in H1, we will have a set of qualified partners open program uh, distributors that will be able to continue a pilot that is started in FY20. And coming at H2 or calendar year 2021, all partners participating in the CSP program will be able to general, general availability and transact licenses in CSP. Finalizing this CSP overview, we need to emphasize on the key CSP partners call to actions to be newcomers ready. First of all, we want to thank partners for their efforts to migrate from the previous Microsoft Cloud Agreement to the new Digital Simplified Microsoft Customer Agreement. This document is a key component of Microsoft's new commerce strategy, as it provides a single digital evergreen agreement, which is the same across the three transactional channels. Customers can add new products as needed. Moving into the second line, all partners in the CSP program, including CSP resellers, are required to accept the Microsoft Partner Agreement. The MPA is a simple contracting experience that supports all offers with consistent and relevant terms across go-to-market entry points, while enabling partners to sell, build through, and with Microsoft. Reviewing and accepting the MPA is a two-step process for indirect resellers. We're asking indirect providers for support and guidance of their indirect resellers as they onboard into Partner Center as an indirect reseller, and then they can find the agreement, review it, and accept the agreement in Partner Center. On the third line, Microsoft runs on trust. Therefore, 
and as part of our ongoing commitment to security and privacy, we introduce partner security requirements to help partners and their customers prevent unauthorized access and security incident related to identity theft. All partners participating in the CSP program must enable multi-factor authentication for all users in all partner tenants when signing with Microsoft Commercial Cloud Services or transacting in CSP through partner center portals or APIs. And partners should implement the secure application model to integrate with partner center API as mandatory and other Microsoft APIs or leverage automation using user credentials. We are inviting you to learn more at Inspire 2020. Please continue being informed via our Partner Network blog, publications at Partner Program Digest and Partner Center announcements. Overall, continue investing in expanding your managed services practices. You can always contact us via Microsoft Partner Community. Key CSP Program Commerce links are here to learn more about Azure CSP Newcomers experience and perpetual software coming to CSP.